Welcome back everybody. So we are designing a microstrip branch line coupler from scratch and this is where we left in the last tutorial. We have the microstrip um, version of the ideal uh, branch line coupler and we are using our Rogers RO4003C 60mm uh, substrate. Now um, uh, as I mentioned earlier that we have to use the T connections here so that we have the seamless uh, connection from this input port to you know these the, at this junction and in fact all these uh, four junctions so to that end uh, before we go there actually we have to introduce some bar blocks the variables and let's go ahead and we uh, you know let's let's deal with that and the reason I'm doing this will become more apparent as we proceed further so let's call this width as W50 so the width of that, you know, the 50 ohm transmission line, and I can just take it, you know, 132.34. You do not to be precise because perhaps you will never get that preciseness in the manufacturing. Uh, but just, you know, let's add add that. But remember, you need you need not to be that precise because you will never get that preciseness. And let's say L50 that we will mention this just at 262 again remember this length should be so much so that we are able to conveniently connect or solder the sma connector so we still have to talk about that you know uh, later on so let's just put l50 as 262 and then let's define a variable which is w h the horizontal line width so 223.2 add and LH, the length of the horizontal transmission line, which is 1152, well, almost that, add. And then we have the vertical transmission line, so WV, the width of the vertical transmission line. We'll take that as 132.3. Add, and then LV, the length of the vertical transmission line, and we'll call that uh, 1179 and add and press OK. So we have these few variables and we will just go ahead and replace that uh, quickly W50. This will call L50 and this we will call uh, WH and LH. Just to make sure they are same. This will call W v the vertical and the uh what was it lv so uh, yeah so i mean as i mentioned earlier like you know the lv and lh is a bit different uh although they both are 90 degree transmission line but because their characteristic impedance were different so like you know there is slight dependence of this but you know that doesn't matter that much. I will just delete this one, delete this one, and delete these these things here, these things here, and just do oh, my laziness. Control V, Control C. No one likes typing. Control C, Control V, Control V, and Control V. Here we go. I hope it doesn't throw any error. So uh, what we have done so far is that we have introduced variables and that will, as you will see, will make our life very, very convenient. So just for sanity check, what I will do is, oh, did I change the version one? Oh my gosh, I shouldn't have done that, but no problem. Okay, let's do file save as and call this version two, okay? I should have saved this before, find, I should have done file save as before I changed that, but you know, no problem. Let's go ahead and simulate this uh, structure to see how this behaves or if if we did some mistake or what. So simulate. And again, as we did earlier, we will cheat here, control A, control C, and put control V here. So not bad, so far so good. We have 3 dB almost and 90 degrees here. And these results look very similar. So it means we are on the right track. Now, so as I mentioned, like, you know, we have to um, utilize the uh, the T connections for these. So what I will do is I'll just go ahead and make some space here because this is going to be really nasty in a moment. This will turn really bad. Move this one here and perhaps 
uh, move these a bit here and move these a bit here Ooh, guys the tea is coming so what I will do now is disconnect here so the basic idea is that you grab this MT and let me put it here and see so there are a couple of parameters w1 w2 w3 so if you go right click on this one it's a nice uh, you know uh, moment to learn about this help feature here just double click on this one and click help and it will bring this menu and it will tell you all the basic definitions regarding this parameter or under what conditions what range these are valid these are valid so uh, what we see here that the W1 basically refers to the transmission line connect width of transmission line connecting on this side W2 on this side and W3 on this side so that's what what I will do is because our goal is to put this one here like so so I know that okay W1 uh, is going to be the width of this so which is W50 and W2 is the width of this side so that will become WH and then the width of the lower section is WB right and then I can also do F5 and put this text here somewhere and bring it back here like that move the var block here maybe and connect this one here this one here so that's how you work with this so you grab MT and just change the default width to the width of this transmission line here W1 width of this side transmission line here and width of this side transmission line here the connecting lines okay that's how you use it I will repeat this similar uh, thing here I can just go ahead control C control V right and the only only problem is that I will have to interchange because remember W1 width of this side here is W50 and width of this side here is W but the width of this side here is WH so I can just go ahead and replace these two or I can just flip this uh, you know this side goes to this side and this side goes to this side so let me go here edit and see if there is a mirror mirror about Y so this will flip it mirror about Y right so this mirrored it about why I hope this works so now f5 again and move this one here so we mirrored it about f5 then what we will do is we'll grab this one first of all let me delete these wires from here these wires from here and let me connect this one here connect this one to this side this one to this so that we are done with that side and delete this one delete this one now this one and this one here are mirror image along the X so I will just copy this one here control V and then go here edit mirror about X I mean the flip vertically shift X you can press and click here and this is how it will become nice trick so you have to be careful here when you are mirroring this you have to keep the uh, orientation uh, you know and you have to keep track of the orientation if you are not comfortable just do it manually okay you need not to do it the way I'm doing it uh, then again I can just uh, type in shift X and here and I put this one here oh, yeah, excellent let's go here connect these oh connect this one here and I did slide this orientation that doesn't matter but I like my schematic to look nice this I can put here the var block and this I can put here and let me go and see here and what else yep excellent so it's so far so good let's uh, go ahead and simulate this one again looks everything looks similar uh, uh, nice so just be careful about when you are using MT and you're using the that function the mirror function okay so uh, if you are not comfortable just take this one and perhaps do control R a couple of times and um, uh, then you know the sh do it shift Y you know the mirror and you know do it manually if, if you are not feeling comfortable but this is how I showed you you can you know do it uh, make this a schematic very quickly 
so now once once this is done our goal is to uh, the simulate simulate this one again and of course what we have done is in fact we have added some metal here extra metal so these are all metals right the transmission line metals and by introducing this we have introduced metal or we have changed the length so we will we will expect that we will we'll see some shift in the frequency so let's go ahead and simulate this and see how it looks like now Oop, I click here uh, this is always disturbing me simulate all right so as i expected you know the there oh my gosh this has really distorted this you know trying to bring it here 1.4 so uh, what we'll do is it means that we'll have to uh, tune it or we have to you know change this uh, uh, these length such that so such that you know it goes back because you know the length has to do with the frequency uh, you know shift or the center frequency by introducing this we have to we have added the length of these to some length to these transmission line and this transmission line so in general we'll have to change or tune lh and lv to achieve the same performance as we did earlier so what we'll do is we'll stop here to keep the video short and we'll come back and do the tuning later on